Hey everyone, this is uh, video 19 of the series, and in this video we're going to be uh, demonstrating a, a JSR, a jump to subroutine, and creating a new subroutine. So, if you watched video number 18, uh, Math Instructions, you'll see that this is basically, this is the exact same program that I was using. And uh, playing around with this, I kind of thought that this kind of showed it off a little bit uh, on the JSR and the subroutine. So I decided to just go ahead and use it. And if we look over here, we have our main program. We have our main routine, right? Everything we've been doing, we've been doing in the main routine. And uh, if you remember from the uh, math instruction video, we have our start button. It does a move, moves one, a value of 100 into math source. And then we could execute each one of these, our add uh, instruction uh, using the add button, uh, the subtraction instruction using our subtraction button, uh, same with the multiply and the divide. Um, but uh, just for example, let's say that we did not really need to have our multiplication uh, and division instructions in our main routine. Um, we could actually move them to a subroutine. Uh, another way is you have a, uh, with a subroutine, you have it out there controlling something else and just sending information back to the main routine. Um, it's up to you on how you want to use those. We're just showing you how to create these and make them work. Um, so it's real simple. You go to the main program, right click add. We're gonna add a new routine. I am gonna call this one my um, multiply divide subroutine click OK, and you'll see that it populated right here. And if we go to it, you'll see there's nothing in it because it just came up and there is no information. I'm going to go back to my main routine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy from uh, my main routine. And I'm going to move it to my subroutine, my multiply divide subroutine. And there we go. Get rid of that rung. There's our information that we just had in our main routine. We moved it to a subroutine. So this will just be out here running this. I'm going to go to the main routine. Now that I've put it over there, I don't need it over here anymore. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and download this um, because it helps me to demonstrate uh, something um, to you on how this is actually working. So let me go ahead and download it. And I've had uh, people ask me um, in comments uh, uh, why I am not just doing an online edit for this um, so that I don't have to keep re-downloading. Uh, all of our videos, all the videos I've been making uh, are set up for our students and we teach online editing later in the semester. So there will be a separate video on online editing uh, coming up real soon. All right, so I got that downloaded. We're back in run mode. The controller is okay. We can see those right up here with these lights. Uh, we have our main routine, same thing we've always had. Um, and the main routine is executing rung zero. Uh, when it's done with that, it will execute rung one, rung two. When it hits the end command, it will jump back to the top at rung zero and start over. Now, if I go, uh, and I can tell that this is running because of this green line right here on the side that tells me this program is executing. If I go to my multiply and divide, you'll notice I do not have that green line on either side here. That means this program is not running. 
Uh, the processor knows that it's there because we downloaded it, but it doesn't know what to do with it because we haven't told it to go out there and execute that. So I'm going to go back offline. And what I'm going to do now is add another uh, rung here. And there's two ways that you can do that. Uh, you can click here and then just start typing JSR. And we'll grab it right there. Or um, if you wanted to, you could actually grab it up here as well. There it is. I just went ahead and put it in there. This is my JSR. And you'll see that we have the uh, empty operand right here, the question mark. Uh, if we click on that, it's going to ask us which uh, JSR, the jump to subroutine, do we want to do? We're going to select multiply and divide. And... Once we do that, you'll see that the rung turned blue. I'm going to go ahead and download this again. All right, so here we are. We're back up. The, we're in run mode. The controller is okay. We have our start button. I'm going to toggle that. It's going to then, after it executes rung zero, jump to rung one. It is going to make this work, the add instruction. Then it's going to jump to rung number two. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on just so we can see that these are all working. Um, it's going to move down through the rungs regardless of whether that rung comes on or not. It is then going to get to rung three. Rung three has a jump to subroutine. So what the, this main program is going to do is jump out to the subroutine, multiply, divide. It's going to come over here. Now you see we have these green lines on the side. It's telling me that this program is executing. And if I were to toggle this, you should see the information happen right here. I'll go ahead and toggle the uh, divide button, uh, controlling our divide instruction. And then after that happens, it gets to the bottom, which is the end rung. When it hits the end rung, it's going to jump back to the main routine on the rung right below where it was when it left. So it left on rung number three to execute the jump to subroutine. So when it comes back, it's going to be on this, in this case, the end rung. And once it hits the end rung, it's going to jump back to the top and it is going to start executing again. All right, that's the basics of a subroutine and a JSR, which is a jump to subroutine. Um, thank you for watching the video. And uh, if you have any questions, leave us a comment. If there's any one of these instructions that you would like for us to try and demonstrate for you, uh, you can leave us a comment and we'll try to make a video on that as well. Uh, we always enjoy learning a lot of new things here and we're happy to help out hope you like the video and we'll see you in the next one